any trip into the back country is going to require that you carry essential safety equipment. If you're going to go split and you're going to be carrying a lot of extra kit as well. You're going to need a backpack that's big enough to carry everything in. It's a good idea to have a checklist of the things that you need to bring and a system for packing your bag that makes things more accessible. Uh, having the right things with you is going to make your day a lot more fun, it's going to make it safer. Okay, so we're going to have a quick look at what I might take on a, on a backcountry splitboarding day. First of all, the backpack here. This is a 32 litre pack. Uh, I normally carry a pack between 25 litres to 35 litres. I don't want to be carrying too much kit, but I don't want to have to leave anything behind. We have a, a pocket for the essential safety items that's easy to get to without you having to go into the main pocket of the pack. So you shovel and probe will go in there. A good pack has attachments for your board to carry it on the back if you want to, if you want to change from skin into boot packing. And a pocket here for the helmet, so you don't have to hike in it. So now we're just going to look at what goes into the pack and how we pack it. Okay, so we're going to start off with some safety equipment that is things that you should be carrying and wearing pretty much every day. So for example, the transceiver, I'll just wear this because you never know when you're out there if you're going to bump into a friend or something who says it's really good over here. I'll make sure it's buried under the layers that I'm going to take off so that I don't have to remove it if I'm going to hike and I'm going to get too hot. With the transceiver, you're going to have the probe. With that as well is a shovel. The shovel and the probe will make a massive difference to the time it takes to search for someone who is buried in an avalanche. So these three items, the transceiver, the shovel and the probe, they're my first piece of kit that I will take every day, uh, even if I'm not planning on going far afield. Okay, the next section uh, is gonna be the split board kit. We're gonna need a pair of adjustable poles. Uh, next, we've got the skins for climbing up the hill. Uh, one way this smooth which allows them to slide on the snow and the other side the little fibers in there grip the snow and allow you to track up the hill and also another essential item are the crampons for if the snow gets firm and there's a danger of slipping okay the next thing on the table here we have navigation kit so i'll always have a map relevant to where i'm going to go i have a compass that's pretty indestructible because i'm always breaking them uh, some people like to carry a GPS and check the weather forecast. If the weather forecast is mixed, I'll definitely put some points into the GPS or I will note them en route and maybe have a track back feature running. Other things that are really handy to have with you is a, a screwdriver set. I carry an edge stone because I like to have nice clean edges, not essential. And a knife really handy for repairs or if you've dinged the bottom of your board and you need to take the PTEX off. Next, moving across, always in my pack, first aid kit. Okay, and in there I have all the essential items, bandages. There's a space blanket in there for if we got stuck somewhere. There's a little uh, head torch, which I always carry inside. Okay, then we're going into more personal style items. Sun cream. We've got a lot of UV radiation in the mountains. Lip salve as well. Uh, when I'm going touring, I'm gonna have a duvet jacket. I'll put that on when we stop to transition from ride to walk or from walk to ride. Uh, gloves, I'll take smaller gloves for hiking. Uh, they're a little bit more dexterous, so it's easier for changing over the bindings and putting the skins on the board. Hiking up in goggles, again, you're gonna get too hot, so a pair of glasses. Uh, if it's warm, especially in the springtime, I'll take a hat for hiking. And you've got essential items that are more personal to you, a neck warmer, things like that. Uh, have some food. It's just real easy to eat sort of food, nuts, berries, some dried fruit. And another essential item is the mobile phone. Okay, this is your lifeline to the rescue services. So make sure you have the right numbers in there. The water, I'll take at least a litre of water with me every day. Uh, I have a plastic water bottle, so it, it doesn't freeze. And then another good tip to have is I have duct tape wrapped around my water bottle for small repairs, if you rip your jacket, whatever. And that's about it for the everyday equipment that I'll take on uh, either going out into the backcountry or if I'm going out on a, a day split board mission. With experience, uh, you'll learn how to pack your bag and you'll get a system that works for you. So what I tend to do is I'll have items that I'm tending not to use right down the bottom. Then I'll have things that I'm gonna use that are heavier, uh, a bit more bulky in the middle, and I'll have things that are more personal and that I'm gonna use all the time at the top. 